be the biggest product I ever release. Really? Yeah. It'll do a million dollars at the first time. You're up. You're up. Wow, wow, wow. You guys, we just want to give you, I just want to <laughs> introduce you not only to a power player today, I'm giving you guys the show before the show, but a friend of mine, I've known Jordan, I've been, I, before I was Jordan's friend, I was just an admirer. I was a voyeur. <laughs> I watched from the V seats. Say, man, that dude is cracking. This dude went from what? What, how, what would, you, would you start with? I started Without telling the whole story. In a little 400 square foot office yeah. and uh, with a measly $10,000 investment. Yeah, who gave you that $10,000? I had saved it from uh, my greeting card route, my paper route, I, and working in college saved yeah. up about 10 grand. Yeah. So and I and what, what did that turn into? Um, a $4 billion empire. $4 billion. <laughs> Uh, pretty, uh, if you dream it, what, it can happen. Or you could dream it, it could become a nightmare too. Yeah. If you don't manage it. Yeah. You yeah. don't have systems. Yeah. So this is this a real business person right here. There's a real dude who's built a real business. So I want to bring, this is the kind of people I most lo love to bring here because they, the, he, this guy had to figure out how to manage cash. Yes. You know, that most people never learn how to actually have cash flow. He's in the real estate game. Yes, I he am. Loves it too. Look at that look he gets <laughs> on his face. Yeah. Right. I like watching my money work for me. Yeah. And he's in the RV sector. So he's, he's, he's the income properties. Yes. But he's in a different space than I'm in. And um, so anyway, we're going to have him today on Power Players. It's going to be awesome. Uh, this show's also going to be on iTunes, Stitcher, YouTube, wherever you're watching. Make sure you follow Jay-Z Speaks. You got to regret that a little bit, <laughs> right? Jay-Z Speaks. I'm the old Jay-Z, the original Jay-Z. He's the original Jay-Z. And um, it's going to be a great show today, so we'll see you here in just a second. Hey, Grant Cardone here. Welcome to Power Players. Every week I bring you someone in power, somebody that's got power like this. The dude I'm going to bring you today, he's choking power out, okay? He's got a freaking, it's going to tap out on him right now. Jordan Zimmerman, awesome dude right here. Let me just tell everybody what you've done. Founder, chairman, and architect. I like that, man. That's only, only that's Jordan new. Zimmerman would <laughs> add that word in there. Architect of Zimmerman Advertising Empire, 14 largest advertising agency in the world. Hey, don't be intimidated by that. The guy started with 10 grand, okay? So there was a time when he was doing greeting cards. Yes. Half of my audience probably doesn't know what a greeting card is, okay? Right. <laughs> um, 1984, he opened his company. He's located right here in South Florida. He is a uh, the South Florida's Business Journal Diamond Award winner, okay? Whatever that means. Ernst Young, Entrepreneur of the Year, okay? FAU Business Leader of the Year, in, inducted into the Horatio Alger, Alger Association of Distinguished Americans. That is a true That's honor. That's a big deal. Big deal. But in, the in biggest the, deal. In the, Supreme, in the Supreme Court of the United States. That's awesome. But the biggest deal, forget the Supreme Court. Is that I'm here with you. He's, he's, on, he's on Power Players with That's Grant right. Cardone. And me and this guy have crossed, like we've crossed paths uh, for years, okay? Uh, he, he, he had a big influence over the automotive space. And before the show today, I was telling him, I said, man, I regret. I went too small. I went too little. You did say that. I didn't go wide enough, right? Absolutely. And if I started all over again, Jordan, I would definitely be in advertising. And I said he would be awesome in advertising. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So if great, he has great, heart and so forth. Great to have you here, man. Great and, to be here. Really, Thank you for really having me. Love having anybody that's reached the kind of success that you've had Thank in you, your man. life. And, and, and I hope to learn a lot from you today. So before we start talking about the $4 billion man, okay? Okay. The, 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 you know, all it's, hard to, it's hard to hear those numbers. Huh? It is. Yeah. It's hard to hear $4 right. million. Dollars. When like, you come like, from nothing. Yeah. I mean, four, even $4 million, right? Yeah. Yeah. So, so let's go back to Jordan, the little Jordan Zimmerman, six years old, seven years old. Okay. Where'd you grow up and what was okay. the scene like? I grew up in New Jersey. Okay. Um, and the scene was like this. Let me paint it for you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Every day I heard my friend's parents and my parents' friends complaining how much they hated their jobs. Uh -huh. Complaining that they never made enough money and could hardly pay their bills. Uh -huh. So I said to well, my you, dad. You grew up poor, middle class or what? Lower middle class. Okay, okay. So I said to my dad, why are these people like this? And he uh -huh. looked at me and said, son, 
They never valued education. They never had a goal in life or a dream. They uh -huh. never pursued anything. Uh -huh. And they took any job they could get to pay their bills, got married, had kids, and they are stuck. Uh -huh. And like you would have said, I said the same thing. How do I avoid that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So and how many kids in the family? Four of us. Four, four kids. And where yeah. are you in the, in the... I was the oldest. You're the oldest kid. Yeah. So you get a little more attention than the other ones. Yeah, I was, I was, setting, the, I was setting the way for the right. family. Okay. And so lower middle class, your dad, what did your dad do for work? He worked in a, his dad's factory in Newark, New Jersey. Okay. Factory worker. Yes. So why did your dad, and how old are you when you tell him the story that you just told? I was eight years old. Okay. So you remember that pretty crystal clear. Oh, yeah. It was changed my life. And I was fearful. Uh, I don't want to be. What? I don't want to be like them. Uh -huh. So you. I don't want to live something. that life. It, even at eight years old. Eight years old. See, and it's my belief, Jordan. I don't know if you believe this, but but the the people that sit here, if if I, if I give them enough time, you got there faster than most people do. Uh, you did. Most people are like they talk about when they were 18, 15, 22, and I'm like, yeah, but dude, when did you get the bite? Like, when did it happen? Right. And then they all end up before 10 years old, right. six, seven, eight years old. So were you uncomfortable at eight? I mean, did you see something going on in your family that you didn't like? I saw it in the neighborhood. Uh -huh. I, was, I was standing on a corner one day and I heard these four guys saying the same thing, all complaining about their jobs and not enough money. Mm -hmm. And I said to myself, they are, they are sitting here and they're not living the dream. Uh -huh. You know, what they're doing is they're really, they're, they're, they're eulogizing their lives. Uh -huh. And I said, I don't want to eulogize my life. I want to live it. I don't want to ever worry about how I, having money to pay my bills or buying anything I want to buy and living the life I want to live and taking care of my family. And I wanted to be able to give back yeah, to, yeah. to kids that could give them an opportunity. So, but at eight, you wanted to give back? Yeah, I said, you know what? If I'm really successful I mean, okay. one day, yeah, yeah. did okay. you? Did you? Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm I did that when I was ten. I'm like, man, one day I'm gonna be really successful and help people. Yeah, that's exactly what I said. I said uh -huh. I'm gonna be successful when I am. I'm gonna help people. Yeah, and it's why I built. I built an ad school in Tampa. Yeah. So, okay, at eight years old, what are you doing every day? You just going to school like every other kid? Yeah, and watching your kids, your but your friends complain. I said to my dad, you know, Dad, I'm not the smartest kid in the class, and yeah, he looked yeah. at me and said, you know, son, if you work harder, you can be. Mm -hmm. And he was right. It was the effort I had to put in mm -hmm. that would taught me if I put that effort in in life, I'm gonna have that great success in life as well. Mm -hmm. And I learned that at a young age because dad instilled that in me. Yeah, now did the other kids get it? No, so, it's part of your DNA. Oh my God. You're ahead. either born Dude. with it or you're not. Oh my not. God, don't tell me this, not again, <laughs> not another one of these, man. Do you it's believe true. that? Uh, 100%. 100%. Yes. Gary Vaynerchuk said, look, you either got it or you don't. You it's don't. a DNA thing. I said, what are you even talking about? You, okay. Come on. You got the DNA. Nah, dude, you what does got that it. mean, though? What does that mean? It's, it's that DNA. hunger. It's the desire. It's the never quit. It's when you get knocked down, you get back up, yeah, yeah. you brush yourself off. And your brothers and your sisters don't have that? No. They don't have it at all? None of them. Not even a little bit of it? Not even a little bit. It couldn't have been developed? Because here's the deal. Your dad said, look, you're not the smartest kid in the room. But he said, yeah, why don't you just use a little more effort? Uh, my my yeah. drive and success, yeah. my work ethic should have instilled that in them. It isn't. It's, you're born with it. I look at my children and I can look at the individuals and I can tell who's going to do what. I don't know about it, man. I don't know, man. Because you see, the problem I have with that, man, is what if these people don't have it in their DNA? You know what? You have to have the hunger and desire. If you don't, if you know what? If they did, everyone would be like you, like Gary, like me. And we're not all the same. This is Power Players, Jordan Zimmerman. We're going to come back and discuss DNA, success, a billion dollars, marketing and advertising. Don't go anyplace. There is only one company to work for in the smart home industry, Skyline Security. Right now is looking for the best of the Grant Cardone following to join their team and expand financially and professionally. Go to joinskyline.com to register. Labeled by Inc. 5000 as the fastest growing company for the last two years in a row, you get to protect families, grow your wealth, 
and join a team of top producers. Skyline is looking for great people. Go to joinskyline.com. That's joinskyline.com to get started on a brand new 10x career path. Go to joinskyline.com to register. 20 years of experience in the real estate game, Cash Now PA is the place to go for buying homes for all cash with no fees, any condition with BBB accreditation. Ray Abood, owner of Cash Now PA, has been helping customers get in and out of homes, creating better spacious for living and making a difference in local communities with the focus on buying homes, all cash, no fees with any condition. Also be BBB accredited. Uh Visit cashnowpa.com. That's cashnowpa.com to get started. Buying or finding a new home should not be stressful or boring. With over 14 years experience, Good Time Tommy has spent his time building strategies, tips, and content that will help you, the new homeowner or seasoned homeowner, get the best deal for your money. Educate, navigate, and celebrate. Because whether you're buying or selling, you're going to get more traffic to your property promotion on every channel and watch as Tommy and his team work until you are satisfied. Your new home awaits you with Good Time Tommy and his team. Subscribe, like, and follow at GoodTimeTommy.com. That's GoodTimeTommy.com. Hey, welcome back to Power Players every week. Every Monday, in fact. Monday, no, Tuesdays. I'm already next Monday, Robert. <laughs> okay. I got Jordan Zimmerman. He's confusing me with DNA talk. He's confusing me with billion dollar talk. Okay. He's talking to me about me and him doing some business together. We're talking real estate. I get all excited. Okay, my DNA starts shaking up. <laughs> See, he's got the DNA. So, but, but dude, so let's go back to this DNA, man. Like, like, like. Your success is not about your physical composition. Would you agree with that? Absolutely. Or your bone marrow. No. Or your height. No, it isn't. Or your good looks. No. All those things are true. That you're in a core. Well, what is that? Now what are we talking your about? Your soul. We're not talking DNA then. You, no. Nah, no DNA there. It's your soul, but what is your soul born out of? Uh-huh. It's born out of your DNA. We can't have a soul without having DNA. No, no, no. You need, you to, need you the need body. To, when you go back and watch that, you're going to say that was silly. Oh, uh, okay. Because <laughs> we're talking, you're, now you're talking spiritual. You're not talking. No, no, you're because talking, you, you have this hunger, this desire in your gut. Yeah, and yeah. and it, you live it through the soul but of who you are. Everybody's got that, man. Everybody, follow, everybody following my network and following me has. They, they got, might have it, but will they, when they fall and get knocked down? Yeah. I got the shit kicked out of me in 1993. I got yeah. my teeth kicked in. I lost the biggest piece of business in my agency. Yeah, yeah. And everybody counted me out except yeah. me. Yeah, yeah. I said, I'm gonna get a bigger piece. I'm gonna replace it. Uh -huh. And we're gonna be bigger and better than we were because you learn more from your mistakes than you do from your successes. So, so okay, so let's, clearly you have pushed through the mistakes, okay, and the failures. Most entrepreneurs do, right? Yeah, what, well, for to be at the level you're at right now, you'd have to keep pushing. So, um, what was the first thing you ever sold, pitched, marketed, promoted? When I was a kid, I learned how to sell door to door. Uh -huh. Eight years old, I started a greeting card route, had big greeting card portfolios, and went to door, door to door, knocked on the doors and sold greeting cards. The first family I sold the greeting cards to was a woman named Mrs. Relling. And that's where I learned how to sell using, I just sold them Mrs. Relling, Mrs. Borsak. Maybe uh -huh. you uh -huh. would like to have the same card she had or something like that. And I learned how to accept rejection, which a lot of people never learn how to do. Mm -hmm. I learned how to you know, get back up as people said no and brush myself off and knock on the next door. I learned that if you knock, knock on enough doors, sooner or later, somebody's going to say yes. Yeah. I learned how to take an order. I learned how to fulfill an order. I learned how to open up a bank account, how to balance it. All eight, nine, and 10 years old and sold the business when I was 10 years old. Damn, man. What'd you sell, how much you sell it for? $2,200. That's a big score That was a lot old. of money at 10 years old. 10 years old, that's right. a big score right big there. Big money. Like, okay, now. What did that score do for you? It taught me that. How, how I, important was that to your? It, it, the confidence it built was incredible. Uh -huh. I felt now, like a now, little businessman. Yeah, well, you were, right? But now, if I took a chemistry, a little blood sample before the sale and after the sale, a little DNA sample, a little genetic sample. See, you're starting to believe that DNA no, stuff. No, because I would see the same readings. In I the think DNA. The, I, I think the blood the would be after, a little richer. You think it would be well? Yeah. It would be, yeah. <laughs> okay. There would definitely be something different happening. Yeah, right? absolutely. Okay. So, so okay. So you had a score when you were ten. Yes. Then what? What do you parlay that into? I, I started a, um, a paper out. Uh huh. Okay, and it delivered the New York Star Ledger. Started with sixty-six homes, built it to four hundred. You conquered homes. the greeting card business. Yes, I okay. was done. I was done. So I 
built this uh, paper out, New York yeah. Star Ledger. Back then, everyone read a newspaper. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, I built yeah. it to over 460 homes. It got so big that I had to hire my friends to help me deliver the papers. Mm -hmm. So I, had to, I learned my first bit of management. Yeah. Learned how to manage yeah, yeah, people, yeah. inspire people. Yeah. So there's two things that you've said to me already. I, w I, wish, I wish I could do a test on the audience right now. Number one, observation. Jordan Zimmerman, contrary to the DNA thing, is an observer. He's looking. You're always looking for the place. Yes. It, it's ever since then, right? What, yes. So why the greeting cards? Like when you saw, what did you see about the greeting cards? Uh, you know, they, the ads were in Boy's Life. And in uh, Boy's Life, um, it, it said you can earn, you can win gifts. So I got my mom and I wrote a letter to the publisher and said, I don't want to win any gifts. I want to make money. Uh -huh. So he sent me a commission schedule mm -hmm. because I was hungry and I wanted to be able to buy things and my parents didn't have the money. So I wanted a mini bike. Mm -hmm. So I was going to save my money. Yeah. I was going to buy a mini bike. I bought that mini bike and I sold it for more money than I made than I bought it for two years later. And then I you know, kept on saving my money. Mm -hmm. Now, and, and how important the other second part of this is number one is observation. How important, did you go to college? Yes. What was more important to you, door-to-door -door sales or going to college? Um, college was a great platform for me to build my confidence. I learned more in door-to-door -door sales. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, you know, my interns at my agency, we bring 30 in a year. Yeah, yeah. They will tell you they learned more in 12 weeks than they've learned in their entire life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Real, because it's real work. Yeah, so the door-to-door -door sales, okay, because here we are now with the internet, YouTube, Facebook, Snapchat, man, uh, in, uh, Facebook messengers. How important do you think somebody watching right now, would, would it be for them to go on a mission and go sell, like Mormons, go sell religion in another country? Don't know the language and they gotta sell a religion that the person on the other end doesn't even understand, right? So how important is that, however, the mission of door to door, of pitching, of, Every, anyone that I've met that has had any success in life has either sold newspapers, sold encyclopedias, uh, sold greeting cards. I just met John Pierre, the, the uh, uh, patrol man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah, and yeah, yeah. John and I were at the races in, yeah. uh, in Gainesville. His daughter races um, dragsters. Uh -huh. And he said, what was your first job? I told him greeting cards. He stopped. Uh -huh. He sold the same greeting cards. Same thing I did. Same and greeting he, card. He said, I've never met anybody that did that before, out of boy's life. Uh -huh. So he had the same hunger and desire. Did y'all just like hug it out right there? Yeah, it was like, you know, we are the same. It's like we, a reunion, we, we have the same DNA. No, you don't have we the same do. DNA, none of, none, of his, none of his kids did that. None of my kids did that. Stay in the entrepreneurial space. Don't be a doctor, <laughs> okay? All right, so, because look, you guys have a spirit, man. You guys got a spirit, yes. right? You, got, you had a bunch of wins, a yes. bunch of victories. Yes. Is he money motivated? Um, I think we all like to make money, but yeah, yeah. I, I said if I work really hard and do a really good job, one day the money will come. No, no, I never no. went do, to do, do, no, Wait no, a minute, no, wait no. a minute, wait a minute, wait well, a minute, bring you back to what you back. said, okay? They wanted to give you gifts, and yes. you said, no, I want money. Yes. Were you money, money motivated yeah, then, when you yes, made Yes, I was young, but when I built my business, uh -huh, uh -huh. I didn't build it for the end, the end all making all the money. I built it because I wanted to do something I love to do. And then I made money. Would you have done it? Would you have continued to do it if there wasn't money? No, besides, no, of course not. Exactly. No, exactly. I, I, needed to, I needed to make money to support my family yeah, and right, right, do the right. right things. So do you think, do you, how important, now, now that we're in this, okay, I was gonna save this, but I gotta go there now, okay? How important do you think money is? That, that people should have some motivation to move toward the money? Listen, we all have to make money to support our family and our lifestyles. But, Important to that, we have to do something we love to do so the money will come in droves. So it's very important that we make money because if we do, we can do good things with Look, the money he we He doesn't make. love RV parks. He likes the money that comes with the RV. <laughs> he likes protecting his money there. My name's Grant Cardone. This is Jordan Zimmerner, Zim Zimmerman. Okay, stay with us. You're watching Power Players. We'll be right back. This isn't landscape design, this is lifestyle design. Steve Griggs is the best landscaper on the planet and gives you knowledge and data that you can't even find on Google. Featured on Huffington Post, Entrepreneur.com, Grant Cardone TV, Steve Griggs is the entrepreneur built and designed to help you make your home become the lifestyle of your dreams. For more information, visit stevegriggsdesign.com. 
Advertising is listed by Grant Cardone as one of the ways to become a millionaire. Let the experts at Brand Finders be with you every step of the way as your partner finding, buying, selling, and promoting franchises. With over 10 years experience, Brand Finders is the company to help get set up with franchising, to help you get set up with owning your own franchise and finding a franchise that's right for you. Visit FranFinders.com. That's FranFinders.com to get started with your search today. SFGCareers.biz. That's SFGCareers.biz. Opportunity. It's what we live for. Financial freedom is created from opportunity. At Symmetry Financial, we are committed to getting hard workers, talented individuals who love to sell, who love to help others create a strong six-figure income. If you ever wanted to have everything you wanted in life, Symmetry Financial holds the key to get you there. We want you, the top talent, the best in the business to join our team. Hey, Grant Cardone here. Welcome back to Power Player. Every Tuesday, I bring in power for me first and then you second. Okay, because I'm like, I get, I get, something happens to me. Not my DNA. Something happens to me, man. I get better, I get faster, I get sharper. It's who you hang around, who you spending time with, who you brushing up against, right? Right? I brush up against success enough. Who knows? Maybe some of it will collect with, you know, connect to me. Do you believe that? Do you believe that it'll... Yeah, well, you, you surround yourself with people that'll make you better. Yeah. You yeah. always call it when we were growing up and playing ball, they said play up. Play so up. So you play up. Play and, up. You know, all of you have to ask yourself, are you playing up? Are you surrounding yourself with winners so you can be better than you really are? Yeah. Jordan Zimmerman, his uh, tag on, online is Jay-Z Speaks at Jay-Z Speaks. Okay, his book is... Leading Fearlessly, I want you to get it at Amazon right now. Just go there, click it, it's 15, 16 bucks, grab the book, it can't hurt you. If you never read the book and all you do is get reminded to lead fearlessly, what did you mean by that when you put that on your title? To, to never lead with fear in your heart, but lead fearlessly that you can do anything you believe you can do, and the book is a testament to that. The first chapter is, you're reading this book because you're tired of your own bullshit. We all have it in mm -hmm. our DNA. We all have it. We have to work past it. To he'll be never, he'll than never we say are. DNA again without thinking about it. <laughs> I he, will always think of you. <laughs> yeah, 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 because because I think you're bigger bigger than 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 bone marrow and cells. So so you will, right? Yeah, I will right, forever. He'll, he'll, he's going to tell me. Say, okay, here goes Grant. <laughs> no, no, because I think I think look, this guy's a spiritual dude, man. Okay, like like if if I put a bullet in him right now, the DNA's it doesn't have it. it nothing happening. Okay, but Jordan Zimmerman will live on. People will talk about him. They'll talk about what he did here. Is that is that fair to say? That's fair. You know, yeah. me and Howard Tenenbaum will get together and we'll talk about Jordan. I wonder what Jordan's doing today. I'm we looking down on you guys. We won't talk about your DNA though, dude. Okay, okay. you left that DNA all over the place. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't leave any on me. Okay. Well, we'll, we'll see how excited. But you, you left some left. wisdom. Well, I hope so. You left a good example. I hope so. You left me inspired. Well, that's about what's more possible, important, right? Right. So, and I can't really quantify that. I can't measure it. No. So I want you to rethink that DNA thing. So, okay, so let's talk about money again. I want to get back to money. We talk on the break about the FU money. Yes. What does that mean to you? What does FU money mean? It means, you know, as you work, we all have to eat a lot of crow when we're building. Mm -hmm. We get to a level we build that we don't have to eat crow anymore. Mm -hmm. That we could be truly 100% with the potential client and with our client when you pitch. You're pitching with more confidence than you ever pitched before. You're not pitching with that desperation. You're pitching with the confidence of what could be. So you're saying on that, you could start to do business with who you want and say no to the business you exactly. want. Exactly. We say no to a lot of business. But was there a time where you had to say yes to business? Absolutely. You just, just, just like you did, just like they do. EED. You got it? <laughs> EED. Yeah. You okay. got to eat it. It's hashtag EED. If you don't know what that means, check with me, okay? <laughs> Everybody does it. Okay, because you're in a place where you're like, you got to pay the bills, take care of your family, right? Yes. How important has it been having people around you that are like, let's go to the next level? You know, everyone needs a team. I call it my core nucleus team. You know, I was just yesterday with the gentleman, he calls it his team 10, okay? Mm -hmm. Everyone needs a core team that believes in you and your leadership skills and the opportunity that possesses for them. My executive team has been with me, some of them 30 Years, 30 years. They believe in me. It's older than my audience. They believe, they believe in my leadership. Most importantly, they have watched our success and they feel like they own a piece of that success 
which they do, mm-hmm. okay? And part of the DNA of our company is when you work there, you feel like a true entrepreneur. You feel like you own a piece of that company. You're incentivized at the end of the year by the success of the company. We win together. And you know what? I am a coach. And I said, great coaches get people to think they can do more than they ever believed. And I believe that. Jordan, so you st- this guy starts with 10 grand, builds a $4 billion business. Okay, I mean, how do you evaluate your business at $4 billion? How, how does that? I don't know, it's, it's our billings. Bill, huh? It's our billings that come in every year. Okay. So it's it's what, four billion a year? Yes. Over. Yeah. Over four billion a year. Yeah. Okay. So and what per, you keep a piece of that. Oh yeah. Yeah. What piece do you keep uh, of that? we're not gonna we're a publicly traded company. We're okay. not but it, it it's is, a big piece. But if you're publicly <laughs> traded, it's public information. Not not broken down that way. Okay. 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 Can you give me a hint? <laughs> <laughs> No, but you're a pretty smart guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so let's talk about, okay. He's got, I know this, there's more money to be made at $4 billion in billing. I mean, it's a lot of work too, right? Oh, absolutely. Okay. It's a ton but of why work. Why didn't you just stop at $2 billion or $1 billion? Because I'm no, never. No, no DNA comes. I am never satisfied. Why? Okay, why is I that? Want it because why I want that? more, because I want to build it bigger and better. Yeah, yeah. That's the ultimate goal. And you know what? We have more to offer the market than any other agency in the world. Okay. 14, 14th well, largest. We're in the top 10 today. Top, oh, you're in top 10. Yeah, you top made a move. 10. Yeah, we made a big move. And it's probably killing you that you're not number one, right? It, well, we're number one in client profitability. Okay. So I like that. Okay. Oh, I, like, I, don't, the, I don't go to the award yeah, ceremonies. Yeah, I don't believe yeah, in awards. Yeah, but you do have some awards here. I read a bunch of them. Yeah, but well, I don't believe okay. in them. Okay. All right. So let's talk about mistakes because everybody out there needs to understand this dude has been through, I'll bet you he's been through 4 billion mistakes, probably the same four, five, six. Repeated. Make them. Uh, I don't repeat my mistakes. Okay. Biggest mistakes. Um, Relationships. Okay. You must build a solid relationship. People do business with people they like, they trust, and are inspired by. And I was handling an automotive brand from 1993 through 1997, national brand, and they brought on a new president. And I don't think he, that we liked each other and that we truly... Uh, I inspired him in any way. Yeah, yeah. And he basically fired us through a fax machine on a Friday night at five o'clock. Yeah. Because you didn't develop that relationship. Didn't develop it. Now, what about what about personal relationships? Like like not business, but in, in your personal life. Has that been, how's that worked? How's it influenced help, not help? Uh, you know, I think, you know, your personal relationships teach you about balance. You know, mm-hmm. life is very interesting. Um, there's no reason for anyone ever to be angry at any at anything. Uh-huh. Okay. Life is too short. What I say every day, treat people the way you want to be treated, treat people with respect. When they don't do something right, coach them and teach them how to do it right and learn from them as much as you can teach them because everybody can teach you something. Other mistakes? Um, not surrounding give me myself. Something. Give me I'm something. Gonna give give you something. I'm going to give I'm you something. Not surrounding. Something. Me thinking as an entrepreneur, like many of you probably think, nobody can do it as good as me. Uh-huh. Wrong. Uh-huh. I surrounded my people that could do it with, I surrounded myself with people that could do it better than me. Mm -hmm. And I empowered them that made me better. Mm -hmm. And that is a hard thing for entrepreneurs and leaders to accept that somebody can do the job better than they can. What would you, uh, if you were to go back and do things differently now, what what would you do? I'm sure you've been asked this. I would have uh, hired better people earlier. Mm -hmm. I would have empowered those people I hired earlier. Um, I would have stepped up and allowed to manage them and coach them, not try to do their jobs for Mm -hmm. them. Um, I also would have integrated the agency earlier into the digital, social, Uh and Uh world because I saw that change coming. You know, we have, we're running fast and hard at it today. We have built some tools. You you, you, you resisted a little bit though. Absolutely. You know, know, change is very difficult for all of us. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But you know, once that, once I am, Embrace that change. Mm-hmm. You saw the agency take off like a rocket ship. Yeah, yeah. Um, why do you like income properties? Okay, because I love it. This is a selfish question, but why do you like the income game, the you income know, listen, property game? We're all, you're all going to make money. I can promise you this: if you stay focused and you do it, you're going to make money. Mm-hmm. A lot of people I've seen make money don't know what to do with that money. They don't know how to make the money work for them. A lot of people we spoke earlier just spend the money they make. I invest the money I make so I can make money on the money I make. And you know, I look for investment properties. You know, we're, we're running very parallel. 
He goes into apartments. I go into fixed income housing, which are known as trailer parks across the country. Mm-hmm. I like the business. I love the reoccurring revenue. I like the land. My returns are better than his, though. I like the land. I, we can. He never it. sells anything. We, he never we, sells anything, though. We we can we can debate that. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, underneath underneath these uh, these uh, these pads are land. Right. Right. And that land is worth a lot of money. Right. And right. land is a commodity. Yeah, so right, I realize, yeah. am I going to bet on? on the stock market or am I gonna bet on myself yeah. and, I, and the real estate market just yeah, yeah. exactly the same it's way. Real. It's real, it's yes. real. See, and he, he, doesn't buy, he doesn't buy blank land or empty land or no. lots and hope to develop them one day. Right. He's buying, he is buying an empty lot that's something sitting on and it's paying him to sit there and wait it out. Right. So, because you're probably like me, a coward when it comes to investing, <laughs> are you? No, no, I invest, but I, but I'm a coward. What, what, come on, you can't buy all these apartments and be a coward. Well, that's what, what Tenenbaum says. Tenenbaum you can't watched, be. Tenenbaum watched me write a check for thirty million bucks to buy this deal. He's like, dude, that's you got some big balls. I said, I'm a coward, dude. <laughs> Howard, I'm a coward because Howard will bet thirty grand on freaking two cards at a blackjack yes, table. Absolutely, I'll bet twenty five bucks and, and 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 I'm choking on it a little bit. Right. Okay. But when it comes to a real estate deal, I said, Howard, there, there's not a gamble here. I'm going to make a check next month. February, I'm going to make a check. March, I'm going to make a check. It's, I'm going to get the income back. The cash on cash return is fantastic. It's just when yes. do I sell? You, right. You're not a seller, right? No, I, I sell once in a while. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's got to be a very good deal to sell. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so last advice, not for them, but what would you tell Grant Cardone to do with his career? 59 years old, got a little bit of an audience. I got something happening now. I would, I would tell Grant, you're doing it right, baby. Yeah. You really are. You yeah. are, you are. I've watched you evolve. I've uh-huh. evolved, and a lot of people around me have never evolved. I watched mm-hmm. you evolve. Yeah, yeah. You went from Grant the trainer. Yeah, yeah. Into Grant the businessman. Right, right. Into Grant the entrepreneur, and it's it's great to see because, you know, a lot of people get stuck in mm-hmm. what they do and don't know how to parlay that into what could be, and you know, you saw this opportunity, you seized it. I would say, continue to seize the opportunity, yeah. continue to build the digital world because this is the world of the future, yeah. and the future is now. Influencers are the new stars mm. of today. TV stars and movie stars are yesterday's news. Yeah, I totally agree with that, man. The business, the business person, a successful business person can, can be. Yes, a big influencer. Yeah, a big influencer. Yes. So last advice for the audience out there, trying to build an influence, trying to get their money right, trying to get their family time right, what, what would you tell somebody that wants to build a $4 billion billable annual business? Invest in yourself. Mm-hmm. Believe in you. Believe in your dreams. And no matter what rocks you hit and what walls you run into, never, ever give up. Leading Fearlessly is the book. It's at Amazon. Go grab it right now. I wish I had a bunch of copies to get out to you right now. Leading Fearlessly by Jordan Zimmerman. Follow Jordan at Jay Z Speaks. And most importantly, okay. I want you in that chair. I want to interview you and your success. Start taking note of what you're doing that's working and not working. This is what I learned from Jordan today. I really appreciate you being here, man. Thank you for having me. He looked around when he was eight years old and said, I don't want this. Okay? That's observation skills. Everybody has the ability to open up your eyeballs and say what you want or don't want. Went to -to door-to-door sales. Got used to the old lady saying no. Okay? I can't imagine. How How many old women have you sold, man? Let me tell you something. Uh, yeah. I knocked on over four thousand <laughs> doors, yeah. so to build to build up this company. But yeah. it, I want to tell you, it taught me a lot. Okay, he taught us about EED today, and everybody does it. Okay, and that you roll dollars. He talked about rolling dollars. I don't know if you heard it. He's like, I don't want a gift. I don't want an award. I want to be paid. Yes. Okay, Jordan, great to have you here. Great, right? to, great really to see you. Appreciate, appreciate it. Okay, hey, look forward to you sitting in that chair and letting me interview you so you can share with the world how you got in power. Thanks a lot for watching Power Players. Enjoy the book. Okay, and enjoy the book.